I know what you're thinking. What exactly is a magical rainforest, Finn? Well, guess what? I'm wondering the same thing. Behind this secret door is a home that sits in a forest that is apparently magical. Look, I'm not sure if magic is even real, but I guess it depends on what you see as magic. Is it the supernatural? Is there a magician waiting for me inside? Are there supernatural magicians hiding under the bed? Okay, I literally have no idea where I am. All I know is that I just drove like five hours to get here and somehow it feels like I just teleported. So the magic's already begun. Before we can go inside, I need to establish that I have some goals for this video. First things first, I must find a reason to believe in magic. This place claims to be magical. Magic isn't real, or so I think. My main goal is to leave this place having changed, becoming a magician even. No, no one would want that. Number two, cook a delicious meal. I'm not gonna spoil what we're cooking, but it is, it is, I, I would say it's going to be delicious. Number three is <laughs> uh, play with um, magic mixies. If you don't know what magic mixies are, it's probably because you are above the age of four. Number four, I'm going to watch a movie from my childhood. Why from my childhood? Because children are magical. No, because childhood is magical and I want to reignite the magic. And number five, put my pajamas on. Hey. You know what, let's just go inside. Um, can you turn the music back on? It makes it more magical. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Hello. How did you get in here? Okay. Oops. Wait. Okay, there we go. I've always liked the idea of magic being real and you know, going into the adult world, you realize pretty soon that everything is kind of fucked, which is why I've had to get away from work. I'm out of the office and I've come here to this magical rainforest or magical rainforest. To be honest, I'm already feeling pretty magical. It feels kind of nice, but we just got here. So first things first, First of all, the entrance. I just entered through it and it was quite good. Of course, upon entry, after a long drive, you're allowed to sit down. I did not do that. It might be dangerous though, because it is quite comfy. Oh my God, how long was I asleep for? We have the TV, which I am going to try and find my childhood film. It's, it's a secret. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I'm watching it. It's a secret. <laughs> we have a fireplace in the living room, which obviously I'm going to fire up later. And it comes, look at that, pre-loaded, pre-loaded? Oh my God, with a heap of sticks, fire starters. We've got lots of wood. I saw uh, when I was walking in here that there's a lot more wood underneath the house as well. So if we need wood, we've got some. Behind the couch, we have the kitchen. I don't know why, but this just looks like such a, t a cliche stove top. Does that make sense? Like when I picture a stove, that's f what I would fucking draw if I was told, hey, Finn, you got to go draw a stove for some reason. Coffee machine for the morning. We have a shite load of water. And of course, we have the holy grail, the refrigerator with Some more water in it. And when we enter through here, go, wait, oh, wait, how did you get in? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Bedroom, the bathroom. And this is obviously where I'll be showering tonight. So in case you were wondering. Yeah. Dining, breakfast bar, outdoor lounging. You can't see what's above, but it's after these two bits of rope, it's actually pretty much one bit of string. She'll be right. Oh my God. <laughs> so obviously this is about a lot more than just the house wait why am i turning this way i've just been sitting here for like 20 minutes now just kind of doing nothing and i keep hearing this sorry i'm gonna have to come back around i keep hearing this noise it sounds like a person but there's no one else around here this is like completely secluded the lady who owns the house who i was messaging on airbnb not even 
she is here so there shouldn't really be anyone around but i keep hearing like this sound that's like oh it's like a oh i don't know it's giving me uh oh my god hang on it's giving me skinwalker vibes because i'm not overly sure what type of magic this place holds is it dark is it light wait what's light magic i just heard it again if it's dark magic i think i may have made a massive mistake Well, that settles it. There's no supernatural magicians under the bed. Uh, at least not yet. So I've been feeling like pretty lonely as soon as I got here. It's, it is quite magical, but I just feel kind of alone. Like it is very isolated. So I went to go call my girlfriend on my phone and I have no idea where my phone is. It's just disappeared somehow. I feel like, yeah, I actually have no connection to anyone. Okay, guys, it's been like 30 minutes. That's my phone up there. Somehow it's above the microwave and I swear I maybe put it there, but I have no recollection putting it there. So mm. there's that noise again, bro. I'm honestly starting to think that this place is magical for possibly the wrong reasons. Hey baby. <laughs> it's so magical. Guys, I really want a reason to believe in magic. And so far it's been kind of mysterious. What does that even mean? I'm not sure. Can I even describe a house as being mysterious? I think I can. I just did, so. I genuinely don't know why, as a 22-year-old male, I decided to purchase what I'm about to show you. I think my inner child wishes that I had something like this when I was about four or five years old. I genuinely don't know why I bought this, actually. So this is Magic Mixies, apparently. 70 plus potions. I mean, if there was ever gonna be a place where I was gonna make potions, it was gonna be the magical rainforest. Okay, it's 2024, you're allowed to do this shit now. I don't know why I was just looking outside to see if someone could somehow see me playing with magic mixies, but there's no one there, thank God. So no one can actually see me. What age is this? Not under three. Okay, we're good. Like, let's be honest, that looks fucking sick. Should we just, let's just open it up, hey? Oh. It's just the box. It's not bad luck, is it? Yes, yeah, not suitable shit. for children under eight years. Okay, yeah, we're good. It contains some chemicals which present a hazard to health. Read the instructions, blah, blah, blah. Because we're doing this at an eight-year-old level, okay? That's what the manual says. I'm just following the rules. Let's play a game. It's called Three Truths and One Lie. One, I'm wearing pajamas. Okay, sorry, there had to be some sort of, it was, it's like taking a lie detector test. That has to be something that solidifies the, between the truth and the, not the truth. Two, I bought Magic Mixies for $35. Three, there is a chance that we are going to make a huge mess. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm expecting a little bit of cleanup. And four, I am able to interpret what this manual is saying. Okay, before I start this magic, I can feel something else brewing. Okay, I'm back. This is really confusing because they're listing everything as like, you know, forest rain, one drop of sunshine. Like, I fucking, I get it. It's magical. I get it. I do feel kind of magical just reading this. But then it's ruined because for a split second, I'm thinking, yeah, oh, one drop of sunshine. Oh, that's so magical. And then instantly I'm like, what the f how do I even do that? And then I got to go look in the manual and I'm like, one drop of sunshine. And it is 10 mils of mermaid spray. I didn't think this was BYO, okay? I thought it would have come with mermaid spray. I don't know any mermaids personally. And none of them would just spray. Guys, I don't have a cauldron. It says we need a cauldron. What should I use instead of a cauldron? Uh, ooh. This is our cauldron now. The first potion that we are making today is called Dragon Dragons. When I think magic, for some reason I think Shrek. Does anyone else think that too? I just feel like we need something dragony. Oh my gosh. I just realized this is the cauldron. Do this. So, we're gonna need a bigger sink. 
probably not actually, this is perfect size. Hey, I'm the Magic Mixies Fairy God something. First you grab some forest rain and just pour it in there. Then add like a drop of star shine that you collected from a star many light years ago. Add some of the sky and boom, you make green. Next, pour in a tiny bit of methylated oh. spirits. You f***ing alcoholic. So those are apparently dragon droplets. Oh my gosh! Look, those are the dragon balls. There's apparently ingredients on here that I did not bring. I didn't realize it was actually BYO. This one here unfortunately requires a lot of BYO and I BY nund. So we're gonna have to make drum roll. Keep going. Unicorn horn crystals. Oh, all right. Well, I guess oh. it's my go. Okay. Um, hello. I'm also a Magic Mixies fairy, and uh, as you can see, Finn is just making some regular unicorn horn crystals. I'm gonna pour in the magical fountain water. Okay, I think I'm done with this guy. Okay, while we wait for that one to solidify, let's start on the third potion. Um, why was I an innocent fairy kidnapped from my home in the middle of the night, caged up and starved for three days, only to be told I'm supposed- Oh my gosh. Look at that. Just to help you make some fucking childhood dream come true. Ooh, and it's like squishy as well. Cool. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Well, I yeah, hope he learned his lesson. Yeah, that's what you get. Hey, Hang on, he hasn't spoken to us, us once. Are you Does he even know we're here? No, you idiot. It was best control, remember? Before Finn came here. No. have been stuck down here for days, you delusional pricks. Oh my god, Oh my god, are we trapped down here? Hello? Should you know? Wait, why can't he hear us? I can hear something I've got to call here. my wife and kill And I think I'm going to have to go down and get some firewood. Wait, is he coming down to Sorry. rescue us? Oh, please come find us. Hello? 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 Finn. Finn. Oh, it's hopeless, isn't it? Finn. For some reason, he just can't hear us. Over here, Finn. I wonder if the camera can hear us. Hello, hey. please Help. tell my family I love. Did it. I haven't eaten all day. I'm going to be cooking up a nice juicy ribeye steak and I'm also going to be making a Greek salad and I've also got some potatoes as well. Where is... Oh, I thought that was a grasshopper for a second. So oh yeah. Well, isn't this magical? I guess all that's really left to do now is... Now what? actually sweating. <laughs> it's s'more time. You're not alone. Nice. Let's give it a go. Oh 
my god. It's actually hot next to this. From the sound. I think it's time we probably picked a movie now. You know how earlier I was talking about Shrek? Well, guess what? Yep, that was foreshadowing. We're watching Shrek. Yes! Wait, what? What do you mean, remind me? I want to watch it. Like, now. Okay, guys, Shrek doesn't exist. So, I'm going with a different movie. I haven't watched Madagascar in, like... 24. Oh my gosh. This is so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I didn't even eat my s'more. <sighs> well, my s'mores are cold, so I might as well head to bed. Oh, but I have a sweet tooth. Always have. I should have turned that music off. Uh, I'm too far away. No going back now. Oh boy. Mum never let me eat those as a kid. And mum never let me stay up either. Fire! Fire! Or put my feet on the couch. That's when I realized everything I had experienced today in a weird way I always dreamt about as a kid. A house to myself, far away from everyone, watching movies late at night, eating whatever I want, doing whatever I want, sleeping whenever I want. What if it was all a dream? Hi, I'm the narrator, and I've been here the whole time just thinking. One minute you're a child, the next minute you're an adult. In the blink of an eye, your whole world is different. Isn't that the real magic of life? We live one life, experience many.